Well, if you look at those dark clouds there, I just got caught in them. A huge rainstorm. I was going to Woody Point, which is just before um, Grow Morn Park, and it started pouring. And I thought, I'm not going to keep driving down this steep hill in a rainstorm. So I turned around with great difficulty and managed to get out of the rain and into a sun hole. And look at this, it's moved on. It actually smells lovely after the rain. And it's a crazy day because I just left half an hour ago from Deer Lake and it was 30 degrees, still sunny. And in this part of the island, it's now only 17 degrees and rainy. But this is a great viewpoint in Gromorn and um, a sign here talks about that valley there, that gap, as being a hanging glacier. So uh, this hanging glacier, if you see that saddle inside, they say a river of ice, the thickness of five ferries stacked on top of each other gouged out the earth and made that big gap that you can see there and also gouged out the main valley in front of me which is now covered with vegetation and they've got the electricity running through there so isn't that interesting so much geological history here and grows more and is famous for its um, exposed mantle the mantle of the earth it's one of the few places in the world that has that I'm not going to see it, I don't think, depending on the weather. Well, there is a sign saying, check your brakes. So I imagine we're in for a lot more hills. Wow, this is steep, everybody. And the rainstorm is behind me. Black clouds coming in the same direction as me. I just hope I can stay ahead of it. It's pretty freaky. The way out in the far end, I think I can see the Tableland Mountains or the big flat area of something. Very interesting. Wow, this is pretty dramatic. This is driving through Goldmarn Park, I think. And you gotta be careful because of moose darting out on the highway here. Pretty spectacular. is pretty amazing. Look at how the cloud bank, the fog bank is hitting that uh, mountain and going up its side and forming around the top. It smells beautiful. It smells so fresh like the wilderness. It's interesting where I'm sitting now is less wind than where I was standing just 20 feet away just depending where you stand on the relative to the edge of the pond there. Now there's a close-up view of the fog forming over that mountain. It smells like the Rocky Mountains to me right now with the rain. So what I've read is that the arms of Bon Bay where the uh, two arms were just uh, rivers and then glaciers moved through a hundred times and carved the valley deeper than the seabed. 
and then when the, everything melted, you had the water move in, and thus we've got the two arms of this fjord. And it's just apparently a very special ecological area with unusual sea creatures that can survive in the cold water. And apparently the uh, St. Lawrence, the Gulf of St. Lawrence water mixes with the water of the fjord here. So that's my short summary of what I've read on the sign. And I'm sure there could be lots to learn.